Hello guys, so this is Marlo Mortel and mas palami sa inyo ang bumoto na gumawa ako ng vlog for my next content dito sa aking YouTube channel. It's been a while since I made a vlog kasi nagkaroon ako ng matinding season of anxiety and uh, natigil yung Meet Marlo episodes ko last year that's been doing really well. But I'm doing fine, not just fine but amazing. And I want you to know the other side of me. So after what happened to me, uh, anxiety and all. Yes, neuroscience as of the moment. Sa Harvard Online. It's a certificate course. So I already acquired one certificate for the first part of neuroscience. Fundamentals of neuroscience. And it's because I'm really passionate when it comes to mental health. Kung talaga magtake ulit ako ng course, I would do uh, psychology. But and dami ko kasing gusto ng gawin right now. I'm really focused on my music. The certificate courses are very practical because they they just tend to focus on what you really need right now. So bukod sa neuroscience, I'm also studying music technology sa Adelaide and also voice technology sa Berkeley. So medyo gusto ko talaga na busy ako. I realized na no pandemic I thought I was so uh, happy because I'm an only child ako and I'm able to do what I used to do always to be at home with my mom and family before. But I realized that it's so fast paced because I'm a kid before. I go on trips almost every day so I'm a kid and then do work pa din after. I'm kind of a cage on my own thoughts and fears. I didn't really think that I was prone to anxiety. I didn't even know what anxiety was before. So I'm kind of stressed when I was dealing with it. I had panic attacks. I don't want to just sit and dwell. I, I did for some time. I really thought that I have no right to be happy because that is what the mind is telling me. But like what I always say on my streams, it's the perfect balance of everything. It's not just the mind that makes uh, you, you. It's also your heart, your soul, your spirit, your moral values. So it's the perfect combination of everything. And kung sino ka, be proud of who you are. Just keep on moving forward. Inyo pinaka importante. Diba? Whatever life throws at you, you should know when to not dwell and how long you will dwell at a certain situation. Dahil it's not healthy for you. And one thing that I also learned during this pandemic is the importance of self love. Parang before, parang kaartihan lang din kasi yan. <laughs> parang ganun yung tingin ng mga tao. And also me, parang ano ba yung self love, self love na yan? Pagiging vain or whatever, or pagi emote. Pero, uh, it is so essential to us human beings. Because if we know how to love ourselves, then we can treat ourselves right and in a healthier manner. Mas naalagaan mo na yung mental health mo, physical health, yung mga toxic situations and people, mas alam mo na kung paano sila i-manage. The reason why I also studied neuroscience is because I want to know the truth about what happens in our body, our brain. And once you know it, matatanggal yung mga false assumptions. Kasi for me, false assumptions, they lead to panic attacks, depression, anxiety. Once you don't see the whole picture, if you have an overview of life, di ba, ang laki-laki ng mundo, it's not just this world that you create inside your mind. It's big. Ang ganda. Ang ganda ng mundo. Ang sarap magbuhay. Kahit ano pang pangit yung dumating sa atin or makita natin na inyo meron tayo, mas madami pati yung magaganda na nangyayari sa buhay natin. Sa mga tao na meron tayo, mas doon tayo mag-focus. Yung energy natin, doon natin ilagay. And I don't know, it's so easy to say that, but it's life. There's this survey nga, di ba, na ano yung nakikita mo sa baso na kalahati yung laman. Most people would tend to say na half empty instead of half full. Minsan malaking impact sa atin ng mga kakulaman, but we can always see the good side of everything. Ganun yung gusto kong mangyari ngayon sa buhay ko. To stay positive, kahit ano mang hamon ang pagdaanan, you know, and didn't have it you know, easy as well. Gusto ko i-import yung knowledge ko sa mga tao. And through my songs, ayan, isa pa yun sa mga bago sa akin, I released two songs under Police Records recently. The first one is called Mahina. It's a song that I wrote about my experience anxiety. Para sa mga taong uh, nagsasuffer sa depression, emotions, di ba, na very heavy. Fear, loneliness, kaya dapat we know how to train our minds. You can always start 
now. And that's what I did. Kahit mahirap, I tried to learn. Ang sarap mag-aaral. Kasi ang buhay natin so complex. That's the perfect term. Ang sarap matuto dahil limitless ang kaya natin gawin. But if you don't know how to utilize what we have and how to harness our skills and talents, wala nangyayari. Like what I said, yung dalawang kanta na sinulat ko based on my experience, yung mahina, may ilagay ko din yung emotions ko sa pinagdaanan ko sa anxiety. Because depression and anxiety, They are two different things. Depression ay masyala tayo naniniwala sa sinasabi ng brain natin or sa mga napagdaanan natin sa life. Iba-iba tayo na napagdaanan. Some ay nakaranas na matinding bullying, traumas. Ang pinaka-importante is secure tayo sa sarili natin. Kasi if we're not secure, mas madali tayo maniwala dun sa mga negativities na nabubuo sa utak natin. So it's more of loneliness in depression and you feeling na lifeless ka and you don't want to live anymore. The anxiety naman is sobrang ang nagiging matatakotin. Yung unknown, masyado mo ina-anticipate na kahit hindi naman totoo, nakala mo totoo. Because this sometimes seems so real. Because the mind is very powerful indeed. Yung imaginations natin, di ba talagang, uh, <laughs> minsan it's so strong. Pero again, thoughts are just thoughts. Loneliness man na matindi or fear man na matindi kasi you want to live. Makita sila pero again, nasa utak lang natin yan. If you have time, check out my song Mahina kasi just by knowing somebody is going through it and overcoming the situation, nagkakaroon tayo ng strength, di ba? And hope na kailangan-kailangan natin. Isang line doon na gustong gusto ng mga listeners, yung pasensya na akong papigat. Kasi sometimes we feel na if we're dealing with this at sinabi natin sa ibang tao, isipin natin papigat tayo or baka isipin nila na babaliwalan tayo. Kasi nga, dito sa Philippines may stigma pa when it comes to mental health problems. And that's not good. Kasi the more we hesitate to heal, the more na pinapahirapan na natin yung mga sarili natin. If hindi hindi mo na kaya, you could seek medical help. That's the best thing you could do if you're suffering from mental health problems to help yourself because at the end of the day the doctors are there the family and friends are there pero if hindi ka makapag decide sa sarili mo that you want to move forward and thrive wala din mangyayari so kailangan tulungan mo yung sarili mo I'm lucky to have friends that can understand I have my go-to person or people na pinakikwentuhan ko and they just let me say everything kasi once you let it all out this realization ah okay yung pinaproblema ko pala it's parang wala, wala na palang kwenta ang kailangan lang pala is may makinig at makaintindi. And one thing that I also did is to have a journal where I write down all my feelings and emotions. I thought before that it's a sign of weakness na ba't kailangan mag-journal, di ba, pang bata yan or whatever. Pero it helps, di ba? Ang hirap if you don't have this outlet to let it all out. Once you write it down, you're gonna see na it's nonsense. Kaya move forward ka na and move on ka na sa ibang bagay na mas importante. I hope na sa kanta na to, makarelate kayo in a good way na yung weaknesses nyo, you turn it into strength. Being aware for me, number one, is the most important. Awareness sa uh, situation mo, awareness sa emotions mo. Sa mga nangyayari sa paligid mo, then you can react accordingly. So after na madami ko pinagdaanan at madaming mga tao din na naka-inspire sa akin, I'm very grateful. Next one, yung song ko na Between. It's a song that I wrote about finding your inner peace and happiness in life. Just like the stars, matabunan man ng darkness, and doon lang naman sila. Hindi naman sila nawawala. Stars will always be there. Sometimes we feel like we lose ourselves, pero ang totoo is, we don't. We just face challenges. And sometimes we feel hopeless, but then again, yung strength natin, na-realize ko, nagagaling pa talaga siya dito. It really comes from within. And pinaka-importante na gawa din ng pandemic na to is that we got the chance to connect with our inner being, our inner self, and reflect on what really matters. Ang saya lang na mabuhay, to feel, to experience, ay naman yung pinaka-importante. And ayun yung pinaka hindi mo dapat ahayaan na mawala sa'yo or kuhanin sa'yo ng iba, yung joy, yung true joy and happiness mo. Kaya dito sa between, ang gusto ko lang iparating dito is we can always be happy. We can always decide to be happy. And we keep on looking for reasons to feel that way. Pero ang totoo, nasa sa atin talaga yun if we want to be happy and be strong and be hopeful. Most of the time, kailangan ng stars ng darkness to shine. Ganun din tayo. Yung mga pinagadaanan natin, misang kailangan din natin yun to be a source of light sa ibang tao and to be strong. Itong song na to, I really uh, dedicate to my best friend. Kasi siya yung nagbigay ng title. Sabi niya, stars now. After a long day at work, we, we find comfort and healing sa stars. It could also mean na uh, yung stars, mga tao sa buhay mo. Like for me, my mom. I lost my mom. Pero hanggang ngayon, lahat ng mga tinuro niya sa akin, nakakatulong for me to find comfort and strength sa sarili ko. So if ever you want to feel enlightened, listen to Between and Mahina kasi pinagdaanan ko din yun. And in some way, inaaral ko din yun. Nakuha ko 
din na aral sa iba't ibang mga tao at iba't ibang experience, especially ngayon na karoon tayo ng pandemic. It's never easy for anyone talaga. Diba? Kailangan natin mag-adjust and we need to adapt. Ganon din for me yung thoughts natin eh. Perfect example is, imagine niyo na thoughts are parang water. Diba? When you put it sa container, diba? Kahit ano pang shake ang gawin mo dun sa water bottle na yun, it won't explode. Kasi kaya mag-adapt. Unlike soft drinks, if you put it sa ibang lalagyan and shake it, it's gonna explode, diba? Ganon din tayo pagka binottle up natin masyado yung emotions natin and mga bad experiences natin. Dapat we, we have to learn how to move on and just let it flow. Let your thoughts flow like water. Ako, yung type na tao na pagbigyan na sasabi, malagi explode ako. <laughs> so, kailangan meron ka talagang uh, outlet when it comes to that. Ano bang masashare ko? Sige, for this vlog, yun lang naman. Ang other side of me is I'm really passionate about life. Nakalagay dun sa profile ko or bio sa Instagram, Slips ni Tare. It means a deep lover of life. I love that word kasi kung hindi mo kaya mahalin yung life, eto, eto, and you're breathing, you're existing, you're you're, you get to eat good food, you get to love, you get to interact with your family, friends, and nature, and animals. Then, how can you love everything else, diba? How can you love your life if you're not loving life? Ayun yung tutunan ko. Ngayon, talagang mas nahilig ako sa uh, pagbabasa. Yung curiosity ko talaga lumawak. Like, I, I wanna know saan san nagmula to, how to cure this, how to become more than you already think you are. Ang sarap lang mabuhay, guys. So, sana kayo din. And if meron sa inyo na nakakanood nito na sobrang down, parang lifeless na sa, la sa dami ng mga nangyayari, I know it's hard. Pero life is never free of suffering. Kasama yun sa buhay. Pero ang pinakamasaya is may ability tayo to thrive and survive and to also inspire other people. I'm happy to be back and vlogging again. I miss you guys. And I'll see you on my next vlogs. But don't forget to check out my covers as well, ha? Love you guys and I'll see you.